All right, this is the Combat Wing 3 for Flight Fest 2024. As you can see, it's a lot bigger than last year's wing. We're coming in around 85 inches of wingspan. This thing is a, a monster. In the center section, you'll see I've got my GoPro up here, and then I've got three motors. Um, I originally had two in an inline contra rotating setup, but I wasn't getting enough thrust out of that, so I went to side by side. Um, which I'm still not getting enough thrust out of that, although it was better than the Contra setup. So now I've added a third motor, and we're going to see if that gets us enough thrust weight to comfortably take off vertically, because, well, I don't think there's a good way to hand launch this thing. The ESCs ended up on the top side here, so you've got these guys on the side for the back motors. They're protected with these little shrouds that also allow cooling air through. Then this third motor has its ESC right here with a similar sort of shroud over it. If we come to the front here, all of these hatches are magnetically retained. And then all my batteries ended up right in the leading edge here. And these are 3000 milliamp hour four cells. And hopefully we should be getting about 20 minutes of endurance out of this thing. I've moved to a receiver that has signal diversity. So it's got one antenna right here. And then there's another one inside that's pointed like this direction. Um, it's a bit closer to all of the carbon in here and all of the, uh, the batteries and stuff that I would like, but um, it's about the best that I can manage. Uh, there's a big carbon fiber spar running through the back here, obviously at the front, and then there's one back here, and then there's uh, a couple smaller tubes that go under the battery tray here, which I'm strapping around so the batteries are secure. Um, and then there's, on the side here, there's some carbon fiber spars running fore and aft. Um, and then in the wing, the, uh, the center section carries throughout here. These wings are removable, by the way. Um, the center spar carries out through here and over here, and then the rest of the, the spar is just foam, which is laminated pretty thick, so it's pretty stout mechanically. All right, we're going to go for the weigh in here, and we're coming in at 51.44 grams. These wingtips here are quad laminated foam board just to get good strength for uh, tail sitter or takeoff operations. The center section is just fixed, it's not movable, but all six of these. Um, three on each side uh, are movable. They've got these little 3D printed fairings and um, don't have the covers off right now, but I'll show you that the base plate has, um, the servo just screws into it. So you can just take these guys off with four screws and then replace the servos easily if they die in the field. And I do have replacement servos for it. I haven't added any of the, um, the parachute system, the snag and drop system yet. Um, I'm thinking that this thing is so wide. Originally, I just wanted to have one on each wingtip, but uh, now that the center section is so large, I think I can squeeze in uh, one parachute in the center and then two add on the wingtips. Um, obviously, I don't want the parachute to be attached to the wingtip because when you yank on it, that would be a pretty big adverse yawing moment. So I'm thinking about having some sort of line system that um, goes from these wingtips sort of inwards and then um, Essentially, it would rip the line off the wingtip, and then the line would unfold out to the center, um, and then there would just be three pods with uh, parachutes in here, and you could pull, pull them out sort of individually. Um, and they would have to be sort of spread out decently far so that when you pulled one out and it started to expand, it didn't get to, into the other lines. Um, and probably you would also have to have them uh, sort of canted a little bit so that they all pointed through the center mass so that when you're yanking on it, um, there isn't any adverse yawing or pitching moments uh, going on. And I still haven't really figured out the design on those yet. Um, I'm thinking probably making some custom parachutes uh, out of some maybe eight gallon trash bags or something like that because, uh, well, the model rocket parachutes that I had last year um, did work. They were, uh, I think, a bit undersized and they, they didn't really bring planes down more as they just sort of hindered them. So if we can get some proper kills, some, uh, some real uh, parachute deployments on some guys this year and bring them down immediately, I think that would be pretty neat. All right, I'll get the batteries plugged in and we'll go for a thrust test. All right, I'm gonna go into the other room because I don't wanna be next to this thing if something goes wrong, so. Hold on tight. So I think we got up to around 8,200 grams in the beginning there, but uh, batteries sort of dropped off a little bit. 
Uh, I'd be comfortable calling that around eight kilograms of thrust. Um, that's going to give us thrust weight of over 1.5. Um, and then the cube loading is going to end up around seven, which is nice. I think that's lower than uh, the previous combat wings. Combat wing two is at 7.3, and then uh, the first one was all the way up at eight. So um, we should have a little bit more wing area compared to how much mass we have, um, which would help us fly a little bit better. A little, little bit slower. This is going to be less of a, a speed machine than the other ones and more of a, uh, a big lumbering sort of thing. It's definitely moved more into the, uh, the giant scale sort of things, um, <laughs> as you can see. So if all goes well, I'll have a maiden flight on this thing soon. And then after I'm done with that, I can start experimenting with the, the parachute system. And I do have some uh, other projects that are getting started that you guys will see eventually, but uh, they'll probably take a little while given the, uh, the nature of what they are. And uh, until then, I'll see you all next time.